Okay, so it's Friday afternoon and I'm getting ready to sign off for the day, but I could not sign off without having a little rant about this thing I just saw, a real estate agent just sent me. And um, here it is, take a look at this. Okay, seriously? I am speechless. Okay, I'm not speechless. I, I just, I can't believe that anybody would stand up in public and say this out loud, much less encourage a bunch of real estate agents to actually practice this philosophy. You know, I, I think I'm gonna put this on my public Facebook page and ask the people in my world, the non-real estate agents in my world, what they think about this unbelievable philosophy. But you know what? That's the wrong word, unbelievable. This is mainstream real estate philosophy. This is what real estate agents are being taught is appropriate behavior, the appropriate way to treat your clients. On what planet is this acceptable? Well, I guess on planet Earth. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm the one that's crazy here. Maybe I'm the one that because I'm offended by this message that my industry is preaching. And it's not just this guy. I don't know who this guy is. I guess I could look him up and I probably will. But this is what, if you Google real estate training, which I do from time to time since that's my career, this is the crap that comes up. You know, how to be successful in real estate. Well, you've got to memorize scripts. You have to prioritize prospecting. I mean, there's nothing when you Google real estate training, there's, there's nothing out there that says, Hey, and take really good care of your clients as your first priority. How can that not be the primary message? How can that not be, even if you don't feel that way, like in your heart and soul, you don't feel like client care is important, that it's more important to go out and prospect for clients. Even if you don't truly feel that way, would you really say that out loud? So, I mean, this presentation that's going on right now, as I understand it, somewhere up north, this guy is talking to hundreds, if not thousands, of real estate agents. So this isn't a secret. This isn't some secret society that they're meeting away and saying, by the way, you know, don't tell anybody what we're talking about here. This, I bet this guy got a standing ovation for telling people to prioritize bringing in new leads over management of current clients. And again, this is mainstream stuff. There is a big name real estate company who I have heard, haven't seen it, but I have heard that they actually ask their agents to stand up and chant something about how my existing clients will never take priority over my need to generate leads or something like that. How do these existing clients feel about this crap? I mean, seriously? So I hire a real estate agent who I'm guessing sat in front of me and promised me the world in service and how important I was to them and you know how dedicated they were to my, to my um, satisfaction. And then, ah, I don't even know what to say. So I'll just say this. If you're in real estate, if you are a real estate agent, and this horrifies you, embarrasses you, offends you as much as it does me, stand up against this. I mean, I know you might get criticized, you might even get ridiculed, but there's gotta be some of us out there with some sense. So let's stand up against this. And I don't know how we do that, I guess by doing videos like this, but um, this is embarrassing to our industry. And our industry wonders why people don't think much of us. Here's a big reason, okay? It doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. And I will promise you, you can succeed in real estate not behaving this way. You can provide an exceptional client experience to your clients. And guess what happens when you do that? They hire you again and they refer you and they tell everybody about you. You know, that's a business model I can get excited about, not this nonsense crap about it's non-negotiable to prioritize my 
my prospecting over my clients. That's just silly. Thank you for indulging my rant. Happy Friday.